Hi everybody! Today I'm going to show you how to decorate a fondant coated cake with the beach and surf theme. As you see, I have my cake on the table here. It is 25 cm matte cake. You can actually use any other cake. It could be also any size, but has to be coated with fondant because all those decorations, all those styles and methods I'm going to use today, it has to work on the fondant surface. I will decorate this cake very, very shortly and very, very uh, simple steps. And I will use a couple of tricks also. So uh, please prepare all those things what you see on this table if you wish to follow me at the same time. Otherwise, please sit back, relax and enjoy the tutorial by just watching it. These are the tools, materials, recipes and ingredients need to make this cake in that team. So what I have over here, first of all, I have an airbrush. So if you're doing cakes often at home or you do cakes decorating cakes at work, you must have an airbrush set. So it is a very useful uh, tool and because you can do things very effectively in very short time. So uh, what I have also here, I have a fondant in two textures. I divide my fondant into two pieces and add additional icing sugar into the half. I'm going to use it instead of pastelage to make the decorations. I have a starch container here. I'm going to use it as resting pieces on that surface in the shape that I wish. I have a bit of chocolate. I will need it. And a couple of different colors of uh, liquid colors, yellow, blue and brown and some water to wash the airbrush. And uh, I have my drawing here. You can go to our website, yenersway.com, and print this uh, if you wish. Plastic knife, double-sided tape, a little bit of uh, tear ribbon. I'm going to use around the cake. And a few decorations, and I will show you very soon how to do it. And I have also two different textures of rail icing. One of them is normal stiff, uh, one to six. So I use one amount of egg white, six amount of icing sugar. And I add a little bit of water to make it a little bit sloppy. So because I need to have like a bubbly texture, bubbly surface on that little dots on that uh, starfish. So I will use styrofoam or I have this packaging material to push the uh, fondant into the right shape for the shell. And a little bit of brown sugar uh, using as a scent. And four and a half centimeter cutter, scissors, and that's all about it. I maybe forget something, but I'll show you while I'm doing it. Oh, I have also two pieces of wood. I'm going to pocket inside the surfboard. So let's start doing the decoration now. First, I'd like to show you how to make this surfboard. I done this surfboard yesterday. It was one day more than enough to get this, this texture. It's nice and hard. Uh, if you don't use icing sugar inside the fondant, it will take maybe a couple of days to dry. So that's why with the icing sugar, it takes a lot shorter. So uh, how to do that? You don't need any mold, cutter or whatsoever. Just grab the, your fondant. That's the hard one. So I just, just chop at the size of your wish. I'm not going to tell you really how heavy or whatsoever. You can use your, your own wish. So I think this is just enough for me. So uh, I just give it good knead first. And then while I'm kneading that the table get a little bit sticky, it's sometimes good because you can shape the fondant on the table very easily. It doesn't really slippery, but sometimes it get too sticky, then you have to clean the terrible surface. So it is all ready. Just do that nice and uh, round like a ball and first a sausage. A little bit sticky, clean up. And then one side is sharper. Just like this. And turn the other side. That's not gonna sharp. So just uh, like a bullet shape. All right, now what we do is we just push it down with this one. This part is very nice uh, uh, texture here. It pushes down at the same time, it creates like a fine, uh, thinner uh, sides. So as you see that, you see that's like thinner in the middle is thicker. 
So it's not going to happen at once. Just go also use this side. You can also do that. And then go for this motion. It's almost there. And just scrape it off and place it like this. And then touch with the plastic knife. Perfect shape, both sides symmetrical. Very simple. You can chop this if you like. Okay, now I have here. Uh, as you see, it's very soft. I cannot use it right away. It has to be rested to dry. So I have these two uh, wooden skewer. I use the sharp side to go inside here. You have to be careful. Don't go to the other side. Just go from the top. You can come up a little bit here, but not underneath. Just a little bit turning and pushing at the same time. If you go in like about 5-6 cm, it's more than enough. You need to have two instead of one. Just like this. Make sure that you don't see on the other side. If it's happened, poke it out and then do it again. So let's see what happened here. That looks good. So that is the how to make the surfboard. Okay, let's place this one side here. A little bit different size, but doesn't matter. You can do the size as you wish. Second one, I'm going to show you now how to make this starfish. Very simple. Again, just about this much. Give it a good knead. Just watch this now. Round like this. Make a ball, flatten, and then pinch five sides. Flatten again, pinch one more time. This dough is so flexible, you can actually push left and right till you get 100% perfect shape. And you can't take too much time, it has to be done quickly. Otherwise the dough gets skin, will be not so good. So try to make it this corner is quite inside. You can also use a piece of cardboard folding into like 90 degree, you can push it in. But I'm not going to do this one now. It's already good enough like this. You see I've done it over here. So when you do this, you can just pull it out the spikes as long as you wish. Okay, then you put it over here, somewhere it's flat. And you remember I tell you that I have a relaxing softer. So when you do like this one, you see like it becomes roundish. But this one, if you do that, it is not so good. So if it's like this, sorry. See like this one is like, like the shape is maintained, but this one getting roundish, getting flat. So that's why I'm gonna use that one. So one, let me do it here. One, two, three, four, five large ones, then go gradually out slow, smaller and smaller on each spike. So at the end, everything becomes round. That's it. That is my starfish. Okay, now let's get the seashells done. Very simple. Again, some more. I'm gonna just do the two. By the way, I had now a knife and also roller to add it into the tools list. Because I'm gonna make it so thin and so small, 
and then uh, I don't need much to put on the table, like starch or something. You can also use oil spray if you like. Okay, 45 millimeters cutter, I do two. Okay, I'm gonna use this styrofoam now. So what you do, you place it on top of this styrofoam, like this. Styrofoam will work like a cushion underneath. So that plastic knife has got thick and thin side. So from thick to thin, you push it. This height on the styrofoam, it gives me a good possibility I can put my fingers underneath. So push it like this, but don't push too much here, just on the edge here. And then try to target always uh, to position this corner there. Side by side, nice and easy. Take your time. That's it. Now, I'd like to show you one more, quickly. I start from the center, go gradually on the side. Left and right. You see, I'm not using any mold or any pusher or whatever. That's already good enough. So I have here a starch uh, container. Uh, you can use uh, icing sugar and uh, caster sugar or flour or starch or whatever you wish and then just put this one a little bit shaping in the finger in the hand here and push it in here and that will hold in the shape till tomorrow then you have a beautiful shell ready to join. So that's what's happened after that. I joined this one together with uh, white chocolate. You can also use oil icing and then it will take some time of course to dry. So that is looking good for me. Okay, that's all what are we going to do. And uh, these are the preparations for the decorations. One more thing I'd like to mention. Uh, this one is the uh, my oats and oil icing. So what's happening? is oats is uh, flat pieces and quite economical very cheap and then i have a royal icing and i actually uh, make the royal icing a little bit more thinner so how do you do that just add water inside and green color and then mix it together into a texture that it doesn't really become a, like a sloppy soupy uh, mixture it has to be only the royal icing uh, joining the oats together into that texture. It's like a quite a, sort of like a uh, abstract look. So I'm going to use this one also for my decorations. So and also I have a few pieces of uh, dredges, almond dredges and uh, you can use also silver and pearl dredges to make these decorations perfectly done. I'm going to do my airbrushing now. So my aim is to create on this cake two different colors. Almost half is the uh, blue side, which is the sea, and the other side is the sand, which is yellowish, brownish color. So, so uh, but uh, I don't want to do it like this. So left is, uh, so right is blue and left is uh, uh, sandy. And I don't want to also do it like this. So that's why I'm gonna, I'm gonna choose the diagonal shape here from 2.30 till 7.30. I'm gonna make this, uh, the color separation in the middle somewhere here. So I will use uh, the help of a bit of, bit of uh, sort of like a uh, stenciling kind of thing. So I'm going to use just a normal paper and then just tear this off in kind of regular shape like this. You know, just the uh, sand is meeting with the water. It's never be exactly straight. So I'm going to use that kind of uh, uh, shape. So I like to do this. Uh, somewhere around here is the blue, another one's the sand. If I take now blue color, 
and spray this direction, I will most probably go underneath. So that's why I'm going to turn this way. I'm going to spray the blue from this direction so the color cannot go inside like that. Okay, so airbrush. You have always one paper here to try the colors. Everything what we need to decorate this cake is all ready on this board here. So my cake is already airbrushed and just let's put all those things together very quickly. First thing I will do, I will create some uh, foam on the sea just to where the wave meeting to the sand. So I just have this uh, relaxing and then pipe this on this edge just like that without any fear and actually just as you see that I'm just curling the, the icing on the surface and then touch with the fingers backwards but nothing goes to the front here just like this and also like second time go around and also touch that again just patting just patting that that edge which the icing is finishing on the blue part and that creates like a wave it's just gone to the sand and coming back again so I like to get a second line here one more time but not all the way just maybe small pieces like this and also go backwards with your fingers again just like this and make sure that your finger strokes are not visible so just uh, melt it into that uh, blue texture just like this but never touching to this other side. Only, only pulling the icing backwards. So that's actually create that, that wave look on the blue surface. And the next thing is I like to do, uh, adding all those decorations on the surface. So I will use some chocolate. I don't even need the uh, piping back, just go like this. And then touch here. There's a shadow on the scent of the surfboard. You can touch also again a little bit of chocolate here and right here a little bit backwards and towards to you like facing to you but a bit leaning backwards pushing all the way in and you can go inside the cake a little bit more like the surfboard actually pushed into the sand. 
So while that chocolate is still soft, I will take a little bit of brown sugar and sprinkle it around as a scent. Just like this. You see the brown sugar is pretty much the same color as the scent color we created with the airbrush. Not much. Just a, a bit of special effect here like this. Okay, that should be enough. Alright, put this one back. And uh, what's next? I like to put some green. Uh, that's probably a too big piece, I'm just going to break into small pieces. I like to get one behind. Maybe a little bit high like this. Just even the dark chocolate. And one time push behind. You know, there's always green, a little bit of bushes or could be on the also uh, bead side. So one high, upwards like this. Another one flat, just behind of it. Maybe this is too big. Just like this. That creates a nice background of the uh, surfboard. Then we have right in front the seashell. Again, just a little bit of chocolate here, touching. Right here. And then the you can just place the uh, starfish just on the surface like this. Don't have to be hanging, touch or glued somewhere. All right, and then one or two of these uh, uh, beach stones, just like this, and then one of these uh, silver uh, pearl inside the the shell. It looks like a pearl, and uh, pretty much there. The only thing is what's missing here: the ribbon and then the inscription. So I'm going to make the inscription now. So uh, there's a smart idea that to make the inscription like uh, the form of the waves. Because if I, I can use also chocolate here, maybe that is better idea just to use white. And then it creates the writing that looks like a wave. When the wave goes back to the sea, it creates the, it leaves the, the form on the surface that writes happy birthday. So to do that, you, don't, you have to be a little bit more uh, not so uh, straight, a bit shaky. So I'm just going to do it like this. So I'm just creating a little bit of like wave-like writing. it. Oops, missing that T and the I dot. I think we are there. I just have to do the ribbon now. I'm going to place my ribbon around the cake now. So when we uh, airbrush the cake, there is a bit of uh, color stain is stays on the on the board. So I clean this one up first. Just go around with it. Just a slightly damp cloth. Wasn't much, so. That's it. Okay, the, I'm using tear ribbon. Uh, most of the time when we do cakes, uh, when the cake is sitting on the board, there will be a uh, very little uh, uh, gap in between. Even that when we place the cake on top of the other cake, there's also gaps in between. So using the ribbon to cover that little gap is a very practical idea. So we often do that. So this is a quite basic cake. That's why I'm going to use a tear ribbon, which is a very simple and cheap ribbon. So just go around like this, measure it first and the overlapping around, so let's say about 3-4 uh, centimeter. Cut this off. And I'm always using double sided tape, just to, in one side. That's at the behind, just to stick and stopping moving around the cake. And then another one. 
just here. I want to join this exactly come in the actually start the uh, front. This says go like this. That's the front of the cake. And that's done. So and then uh, after that, I like to make a small little bow. So that is the one side, uh, about ten centimeter. Then just fold it nicely like this, and holding like that. Go around again. Holding like this, and let this one go. So this is actually how it is uh, positioned, like that, overlapping a little bit. And also again, cut a small piece of double-sided tape. Stays here in the middle, and remove, and push this one down again, like that. So that's actually just the beginning. And turn this one around this way, and then use this time a little bit longer maybe about uh, six, seven centimeter, and just go in the middle also again, like that, remove that, and chop this bit, and start from the center, go like this, go around, and stick it again. So actually I join it at behind over the sticky tape. I have still left and right available, to glue this on top of the other one, right in the front, like this. So then, this one, cut nicely, like that, and then cut nicely. This is just a small little uh, touch, uh, finishing the cake properly. Alright, that's how the ribbons is done. My simple, basic beach and surf team cake is now ready to present. Now is your turn and uh, I'm sure you're going to do a very good job. I wish you good luck with that. If you like to print these templates, please go to yenasway.com. You can join us free and you can print all those things very easily. And you can also have access to all the recipes. So I hope you enjoy this video and uh, I will see you uh, on the next video very soon, right here, bye for now.